नमस्कार सियाकाल एंड हेलो एवरीवन यू आर वाचिंग इनोवेटिव अमेजिंग साइंस विद सुनैना एंड आई बिलीव दैट यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो एम आई आई वुड लाइक टू गिव अ बिग शाउट आउट टू द विनर्स ऑफ इनोवेटिव अमेजिंग साइंस क्विज हेल्ड इन द मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल मे एंड जून 2022 एंड द विनर्स आर ब्रजेश सिद्धांत एंड जुलेखा Congratulations to all of you. When we hear the word flower, it always brightens our face. We use flowers not only to decorate our homes but to express different types of emotions. It can be love or happiness or even sorrow. But where does this flower originate from? So plants and trees are the sources of flowers. When I was a child, I enjoyed seeing different types of flowers. and its colors and enjoyed its fragrance but as a child i was not knowing that the flowers also can have different parts like the human beings so when i grew up when i started studying then i knew that flowers can have so many different parts and those parts have different functions as well so let's just enjoy the video and study about a particular type of flower and learn in details Are you ready? Let's get started. So before we start, first let us understand the classification. So it belongs to division Angiospermiae, class Dicotyledonae, family Malvaceae, genus Hibiscus, and species Rosa sinensis. So now let us understand few characteristics of the family. So there is uh, the presence of epicalyx, which is found in Malvaceae family. and this epicalyx is actually the additional wall around the calyx of a flower so next we see the calyx it is actually the outermost wall of a flower and it contains a set of green leaf like structures known as the sepals so there may be 4 to 5 sepals in a flower and the sepals here it is in fused state so it is gamosepalous and if you observe carefully it has got the valvet activation that means uh, the sepals in a whorl just touch one another in the margin without overlapping and the function of the sepals is to protect the flower in the bud stage and they can also prepare food for the plant so next we have the corolla which is actually the second whorl of the flower it generally consists of a ring like brightly colored leaf like structures known as the petals and this petals are actually separate so they are known as polypetalous and they have the twisted estivation that means one margin of the petal overlaps the margin of the next So next we have the androecium which is the third whorl of the flower it is actually a collection of stamens and the stamen is a male reproductive uh, unit of the flower and here it is uh, indefinite stamens and another condition which is found here is monoadelphous uh, in which all the filaments of the stamen are united into a single bundle to form a tube like structure but here the anthers remain free So next the anthers are reniform that means they are appear kidney shaped and monothecous anther is found So here you can see some technical terms are there and let's start with our dissection of the flower and let us understand it in a more better way each part and how to see all the whorls in the same flower So now you can see a beautiful flower and that is hibiscus so hibiscus is a genus of flowering plants in the mallow family that is malvaceae and here you can see the stalk and the complete flower so let me tell you something about this beautiful flower so this flower is actually a complete flower because it contains all the four walls that is your sepals petals then you have the androecium and you have the gynoecium as well So now you can see the stalk of the flower which is called as the pedicel and we know that hibiscus is a pedicellate flower so this stalk supports the entire flower next to pedicel you can see the epicalyx 
Epicalyx is actually found in Malvasia family and it is the additional world around the calyx of a flower. So you can see the epicalyx. Next to epicalyx you can see the outermost world which is known as the calyx and it contains a set of green leaf like structures known as the sepals. So usually there might be four or five sepals in a flower and which is fused one. So it is called gamosepalus. So I have to be very careful and slowly, slowly I'll separate the sepals which are five in number and the next wall is the corolla which is otherwise brightly colored and it is separate. Here you can see five in number and slowly, slowly you have to separate the petals from this entire flower and we know that it is polypetalous. So slowly, slowly, I'm going to separate all my petals. You have to be a little bit careful and you have to hold your patience. Okay, so now I have separated all the petals. So next is the gynosium and the androsium. So I'm just going to hold the needle and I'm trying to pierce the staminal tube. Because inside the staminal tube, you'll find the pistil. So you have to be very careful. So now you can see that I have separated the entire pistil and it contains three parts, style, stigma and the ovary. So now you can see that I am holding the staminal tube and actually it is the third wall of a flower that is known as the androsium and it contains the collection of stamens. So using a tweezer, I am going to separate each stamen and if you carefully observe, you can see the anther and the filament. So anther is present at the tip of the stamen. And anther produces the dust-like particles known as the pollen grains. And this stamen is the male reproductive unit of the flower. And this group of stamens together is known as your androsium. See how beautifully uh, these uh, stamens are looking and with the help of the tweezer I am trying to separate it. You have to be a little bit careful otherwise uh, this anther might fall off. See just now it happened. Okay. I will just keep it aside and here you can see all the parts of this flower. So you can see the corolla which is the second wall and it is 5 in number. Next is the epicalis which is an additional wall around the calyx. Here also it is 5. Next you can see the sepals which is fused. Then this entire thing is the pistil. On the tip you can see the stigma. And the next 
middle portion is known as the style and it is thin long tube like structure it connects the stigma to that of ovary down you can see the ovary and this is a pedicel so if you observe closely this is the androsium which contains a group of stamens and down if you see that i've kept uh, that's a single stamen which contains the anther and the filament and this uh, is the ovary the swollen part if you observe so this base of the pistil is actually called the ovary and i'll try to prick it with my needle and let's see what is inside the ovary okay so i'm done slowly slowly you have to pierce it okay i can see the ovules which is present inside the ovary and it is looking awesome just observe it I thought I'll show you this part once again because by the time I was making a video I just noticed one uh, new bird had come so if you observe carefully you can see the epicalyx and you can see the calyx which is protecting this bud stage earlier I already said the function that calyx uh, protects uh, the flower in the bud stage and also prepares the food so if you observe carefully uh, like it is protecting it is covered from all the sides and it is protecting and again another bud which is going to bloom soon so ready for it and we are going to see after a while if you enjoyed this activity do give it a like and if you want to share any of your such experience with everyone to put it in the comment section or to write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos i can share your experience with everyone till then take care bye bye